um, show you what I've got on work-wise, um, training-wise. Morning. Morning. Morning guys. Oh, there we go. Ah, reverse camera. Nick Cotty here again, the flexible dieter. Come on in, love. Oh, my thank you, Shepherd. Let's do it. Ooh, zero minutes. I better make this quick. Um, so today I'm gonna do a I was gonna do a full day of eating, but then I thought I'll oh, may as well just take you along for the whole day. So we'll do like a day in the life kind of thing vlog. What do you think? Perfect. So what are we doing now? Well, we're gonna go have a little sneaky peek at an apartment that we like the look of online. Gotta be quick with these things, so yeah. we're gonna go and check it out, drive up to it. A little sneak peek, it doesn't, first open home's not tomorrow, so we're gonna check the inside of it tomorrow. Not until tomorrow, yeah. So we can kind of look at it now and get a feel for it, which is nice. Today I have, every three years as a trainer, you gotta do I think any industry you work in, in Where you the people, people, restaurants, but yeah, where you work people. Um, we're going to do my first day course, which includes CPR. So we're going to do that. Um, it's a full day course, pretty much nine to five in the big smoke over there. So we're going to jump on the ferry after a couple of morning flights now. Our first thoughts are that we. We like it. It's a good little building. It's only got four ground floor and it's got four other apartments or three three others. Got a little garden, two beds, study. Just ticking the boxes, people. <laughs> So finished with the clients now. Um, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm having, what I've got packed for today. So obviously being a flexible dieter, I don't want to eat all my meals out. A, not cost effective, and B, it's nice to have something set in stone. So I've got some blueberries, gonna snack on those on the ferry on the way to the course. I've just got some, some cooked lean mints. It's about 400 grams, so a decent amount of protein there, probably well, like 60 protein. Got a can of tuna a banana that's pretty much it some water um, they do provide lunch but i'm just not sure what what it'll be i'll probably have a, a coffee there during the day to keep me awake and then we'll train this afternoon directly after the course so have this see what they give me learn how to resuscitate and save lives and i'll check in with you guys soon listen to this crunch these are the best blueberries in australia You hear that? Oh yeah. They're good. Everybody's happy. I'm turning around. Looking for a friendly life. But I see nothing. It's one of the best things about doing the mini cut and being a bit lighter is that this 35 minute walk I've got now it's a breeze in a hoodie, it's summer, and I'm not even that hot, so sometimes being a bit lighter, less to move around, less to shift, less, less weight to carry from A to B, it kind of be a good thing. So I'm enjoying this walk through the city. See you, mate. See you. About five minutes out. Yeah, first aid. Level four, I believe. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So we just finished the first half of the day, got about a 45 minute break, so that's the CPR all done. Thanks. This is pretty cool, We're sitting here. Out the sun, in the middle of the city, just having some lunch having my mints and got picked up another coffee as well. 
A lot of strange people in the city, but um, just weighing up whether we will go and buy the new Hall of Duty. So the the standard one, you're basically looking at about 80 bucks, I think it is. And then you want the you want the deluxe pack or the Infinity Supremacy or something like that. Um, 150 bucks for a video game. Come on, so. I'm not sure if I'll, I'll play and get my money's money's worth for just yet, so I might hold off a few weeks. One of the one of the guys, Chris Elkins, a fellow ex 3DMJ teammate, um, he basically he was all about it. And he, I was chatting to him, he said it was pretty good. So I might get it sooner. Um, Alice is away for a few days, so I thought I might get some game time in um, just while I've got some downtime. But yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on this one. 150 bucks. Psh. Quick, uh, quick top shop stop. Basically, need, need some new training tees. I'm gonna go here, then I'm gonna go to Lululemon as well. Um, I want a dry fit kind of material from Lululemon, but I'm gonna try this kind of olivey one. Bit of a muscle tee, plain, plain navy, and then some some shorts too. Job is, I guess, but shorts. I'm only gonna go with the one. It's like the olive, quite a long shirt. Not too bad. Couldn't find Lululemon, so we're gonna go train instead. We're gonna go crush it. So we've got an upper body session today. I'll take you guys along. I haven't been to this gym in a long time, so I'm hoping it's either had a renovation or it's kind of busy, but it's a Friday afternoon. I suspect there'll be a few people here being in the city, but let's go get it. Just chilling. So big upper body day here. This was one of the first days on the new program that I've written for myself. Um, and just to, just to keep in mind guys, when you're writing your own programs, you gotta kind of think on the fly. Sometimes you'll, you'll write it out and on paper it'll look really good. You'll get into the gym and then all of a sudden two exercises, they they don't feel like they work together. They're not, they're, you're, just, you're not feeling it um, for, for a number of reasons. So it's good to use the first one or two weeks of any program just to kind of iron out any kinks you've got and then you can make, make kind of changes on the fly as well. So um, as you saw on this day, I put push-ups first purely because it's not a pre-exhaustion or anything. I just like to activate the pecs, the shoulders, warm up the elbows. Push-ups are really safe. The scapulas can kind of move in any sort of plane direction they want, so it feels really nice. And then from there, I move into a heavier exercise being an incline hammer, hammer strength press with the plate loaded. They've, at, those who have followed me for quite some time know that they're one of my bread and butter staple safe chest exercises, so I love them. From them, I'm, for after those, I did, what I did there was I did a set of 12 and I did as many sets of 10 as I could and I'm gonna start doing that more for chest and shoulders which are areas that I am injury prone. I do get a fair few little niggles here and there so if I can auto-regulate that and go on feel, as long as I get a certain amount of volume in, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So from there, you'll see I went into another chest exercise, the cable fly, working high reps, three sets of 20 reps and from the cable flies we went pretty much directly back and forth with pull-ups and same sort of thing on this day, I just had a set number of pull-ups to do, so it's auto-regulated in the in the way that I can do it in as, as many or as little sets as I like, as long as I'm hitting an exertion of about a nine out of 10, meaning I've got one to one and a half reps, maybe two reps left in the tank. So I don't wanna to go to complete failure, I just wanna get good quality sets and then move on to the next exercise. So after that, it was a, a bit of shoulders. So um, shoulders are a big, big, kind of priority of mine in, the, in this next six weeks. So we're doing a overhead shot, overhead dumbbell press, which is an exercise I haven't done these in in probably probably since prep last year. So you're looking at over a year now. Um, and obviously cable side raise is a big staple of mine. So coming coming back to these dumbbell shoulder press, I really actually enjoyed them. I went with 55 pounds, three sets of eight, and they felt really good. So I'll definitely go up to probably 30 kilos next week, which is about, what, 70 pounds maybe? Not quite. Uh, and from there, we finished off, we did some arms, some blood flow restriction arms on the preacher to get that really look, working that peak contraction at the top there. And then some hammer curls. You'll see with these, I got a pretty nasty pump. 
Um, bladder flow restriction is always good. And the reason I added it on on this workout is because I'm again training upper body in 48 hours time. So I wanted to keep the arms a little bit fresh rather than hitting them with some heavier loads. And after that, I went into some Meadows rows. I don't know if you guys have done Meadows rows, but if you if you want to take a look at this, if you have, let me know if my form's okay. I've, I've done a little bit of research. Um, I love single arm dumbbell rows, but I wanted to try the Meadows rows just for the hip positioning and the angle of the kind of the T-bar. And they feel good. I just worry when I go a bit heavier that they're not going to feel as good, but I'll probably keep them in there. If not, I'll go back to the this old steady dumbbell rows. So that's a wrap guys, really, really good workout. Um, upper body, it actually took me a fair while. So this new split, I'm not sure whether I'll keep this amount of exercises per workout. That was eight, I believe. So um, it was awesome, no, but don't get me wrong, but it did take probably an hour and 45, um, which is which is fine. I can I can allocate that, that amount of time to my training. It's just whether the quality was there. So I'm gonna, when I go home tomorrow, I'm gonna to read, well, when I get home tomorrow to the computer, I'm gonna rejig a few things um, and see if I can shorten them up. Um, no, no, not shorten them up, but adjust a few things so different workouts might be on different days, um, but they're full upper body. So as long as I'm doing two, two to three chest, two to three pulling, one minimum one shoulder, and minimum one by and one try, I'm happy with that. So um, that's just kind of thinking out loud. What was cool? was this workout I bumped into one of my subscribers and a guy that I've connected with through Facebook, YouTube, if you're watching this dude, which you probably are, um, awesome to finally meet you and thanks for coming up and saying hi. I know he recognised me, he thought he recognised me, he wasn't quite sure until I busted out the camera and then he saw me, so pretty cool, pretty cool. So walking back down to the ferry now, uh, post-workout, gonna jump on the ferry, then meet Alice after yoga, grab some dinner, grab a drink. Is it good? Yeah. Cider. Oh, decisions, decisions. I need the modus pale ale. That'll go down well. Guess what we got? Mexican. Only the best. Two sauce starters. I'm a bit cold. <laughs> <laughs> you love it don't you buddy as that's going to conclude the video um, just walking Louie now it's about 8pm Alice and I just had some dinner um, I hope you enjoyed this video I know it's not the most exciting thing um, just kind of a, a simple Friday in the, in the life of a trainer um, getting shit done got a workout in which was good um, but I hope you took something away from it, um, and I hope I can provide, I know I can provide certainly more content, but uh, it's always good to do these these vlogs um, for you guys and for me to look back on as well. So I will certainly be seeing you in the next one. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I will catch you probably over the weekend or first thing next week. Cheers. Cardio, cardio. You, you, you.